Okay. What habits did you change when we moved in together? I stopped being lonely. Oh. Ever since the rumors of Kanye cheating on Kim with Jeffree Star, things have been very fickle. According to various reports, the marriage right now is like walking on eggshells. Things are very tense and misinformation from the internet is only adding fuel to the fire. So allow us to take you through what's going on in Kim Kardashian and Kanye West marriage right now, and if there's going to be a potential divorce. Unfortunately, us media is reporting that the couple who tied the knot in 2014 and have four children together are now living separate lives. A source told People Kim and Kanye continue to live separate lives, they have no contact. Meanwhile, Page Six claims that West, 43, has removed 500 pairs of trainers from the couple's $60 million Calabasas mansion. Oh my god. The news is being speculated after Kardashian showed her 203 million followers around the new showroom for her underwear brand Skims, which looks eerily identical to the wardrobe where West once kept his iconic Yeezy range. The origin of this source is the celebrity gossip account on Instagram by the name of Dumois who reminded audiences that this was the space where Kanye was interviewed about the Yeezys range. Neither Kardashian nor West have officially addressed their rumored split, but the internet is already running wild with outrageous rumors and theories. Early gossip is cooked up and has varied the circumstantial, proposing that Kardashian is currently dating CNN commentator Van Jones, whom she was seen with at a 2018 criminal justice reform summit, something that was in itself a matter of contention for the couple and outlandish prospects like newly elected Georgia Senator Raphael Warnock. But the strangest of all was the speculation that West cheated on Kardashian was an infamous YouTube beauty guru who happened to be none other than Jeffree Star of all people. Despite there being no solid evidence to this rather illustrious insinuation, the rumor started trending thanks to a TikToker. According to sources such as People, Page Six, and TMZ, the gist of the narrative seems to be that Kimye might just end up divorcing each other after a seven-year run at marriage. This is because a source of Page Six said that they are keeping it low-key, but they are done. This was followed by people circulating the news that West knows that she's done and that she has had enough, and she told him she wants some space to figure out her future. Furthermore, there is also the fact that, by the way, has been reported by multiple credible sources in the media and not just the tabloids, that Kim Kardashian and Kanye also seem to be spending a lot of time apart from each other doing their own things. This can be especially seen as Kardashian West has focused on studying the law and working on social justice issues, having helped several people receive sentence commutations and working to bring to light prison reforms, while Kanye West stood up as an independent candidate for president in 2020. This has led people to only be more suspicious of the rapper's daytime and nighttime activities and who he seems to be spending his time with. And the internet is very keen to know. Perhaps this is why literally every social media platform is a plane of raging fire with the news that Kanye West had apparently been in a relationship with Jeffree Star and that the beauty guru might be the last nail in the coffin that breaks up the celebrity couple, at last after years of a rocky relationship. And well, the internet also has good reason too. Immediately after the rumor went viral, Jeffree Star very cheekily posted a picture of himself on Twitter with the caption, I'm ready for Sunday service, which is a direct reference to Kanye in his Catholic religious background. Further suspicion was aroused when a Twitter user DM Jeffree Star for an official statement for the rumor circulating and he responded with, I'm having the best time in Wyoming, come visit sometime. This was particularly suspicious as Kanye West was at the time also reported to be in Wyoming as a part of the alleged separation from Kim. The internet lost its bearing at that with the screenshot of the conversation going absolutely viral. What's even more coincidentally weird is that the lyrics from a past song of stars resurfaced which very explicitly, pun intended, mentioned Kanye West, suggesting that there was indeed might have been a past affiliation between the two. The TikTok user who launched the rumor also said the news she is conveying has very strong legitimacy as it comes directly from a lawyer based in Los Angeles who in fact was present during the proceedings and meetings that involved the celebrity couple's potential divorce. The TikToker apparently seems to know a lot about the couple's marriage and the current scenario but says that she is forbidden to speak explicitly about it with the threat of her being sued for defamation and all the legal repercussions that would follow after that. She also stated that because he was allegedly dating this male beauty guru is why he has become so deeply religious. Eva Luis, the TikTok informant, also went on to say that Kanye West's internalized homophobia is just very sad. When it comes to their divorce and them being separated, various news reports, theories, and allegations have been made. 
A source very close to Kim told CNN, the couple lives separately now, with Kim looking after the kids and based in California, while Kanye spends his time in Wyoming. Some also say that this has been a long time coming because of West shenanigans over the years and just even general drama. And who can forget Kanye West's very public meltdown over Kim meeting with Van Jones, or the series of now-deleted tweets that aim to accuse and malign the Kardashians for trying to throw him in a mental asylum. Kim tried to bring a doctor to lock me up with a doctor, he tweeted. This was among a stretch of various tweets where he claimed that the movie Get Out was based on him, said that actor Shia LaBeouf was supposed to do a shoot for his Gap clothing line but never showed up, and asked his mother-in-law Kris Jenner to call him. If I get locked up like Mandela, y'all know why, West tweeted referring to the late president of South Africa. All of this happened following a campaign rally West held on Sunday in North Charleston, South Carolina, where he gave a long and invigorating speech talking about gun control and his faith, and very emotionally revealed that he and his wife nearly terminated their first pregnancy when addressing anti-abortion laws. However, this rather randomly turbulent phase, which raised both amusement and concern amongst the fans in the media, was addressed by Kardashian herself, who on Twitter said that, as many of you know, Kanye has bipolar disorder, Kardashian West wrote. Anyone who has this or has a loved one in their life who does knows how incredibly complicated and painful it is to understand. She added that because West wasn't a minor, she was left powerless and getting her husband psychiatric help, no matter how hard family and friends try. Addressing West as a brilliant and complicated person who could elicit strong opinions and emotions, the Kardashian had stated. She also said the pressures of being a black artist, the loss of his mother, Donda West, in 2007, and isolation during the COVID-19 pandemic had all taken a toll on the musician's mental health over the past couple of months. Even Kanye West apologized to Kim publicly in a tweet that said, I would like to apologize to my wife Kim for going public with something that was a private matter. I did not cover her like she has covered me. To Kim, I want to say I know I hurt you. Please forgive me. Thank you for always being there for me. It hasn't exactly been sufficient. When it comes to addressing the divorce rumors of the celebrity couples, and that too in seriousness, a number of factors have to be considered. Another very significant aspect to be considered is the potential divorce and only the Jeffree Star scandal, but the fact that they have been going to couples counseling for some time now, trying to solve the problems in their marriage. It's not over yet, they are still trying to see if the marriage can be saved, a source revealed to people as well. Meanwhile, an insider told E! that Kardashian hasn't filed because she's concerned about how it will affect North, St. Chicago, and Psalm. She wants to make sure she's making the right decision for the kids, the source said. It's not about the marriage anymore. Kim is only focused on what is best for the kids. It's a tough decision for her, and she's figuring it out. With that said, some people are speculating if Kardashian's waiting for the last season of Keeping Up With The Kardashians to air, and if she wants to wrap things up after financially consulting with her advisors. But who knows at this point? This was a gist of the controversy surrounding the celebrity couple's marriage. And well, if you want to watch more videos like these, please like the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. See you next time.